I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architects and welcome to this tutorial about snapping. Let's get back to the subject of using Blender as a CAD tool, which is something that I love to do. I'm often trying uh, new ways and different techniques to uh, apply in Blender to make it work as a CAD tool. And most of the time it works just fine. And uh, today I want to explore a few options regarding the snapping system of Blender. If you are coming from a software like AutoCAD or any other CAD, CAD 2, you probably ask yourself when you open Blender for the first time, do I have a snapping system here? Yes, we have many ways uh, to use the snapping system of Blender. We have multiple uh, snapping systems. For instance, you can use a snapping system with the 3D cursor, which is this small target here. And we also have a transformation snapping, which is something that I'm often using here on multiple tutorials and on my workshops. Today, I wanna explore different ways uh, to accomplish a simple task. I wanna get this chair here, which is on a completely random location. And I want to align and place it under this floor, this plane here. Quite simple, isn't it? Uh, but I will try to use the snapping system uh, in different ways to show, we, uh, to show you how it works. So let's get started. The first option or the first snapping system that we can use is something uh, quite simple for Blender users, which is uh, the 3D cursor. And this snapping system, it only works for this case because the origin point for this chair is uh, right here at the exact bottom, center bottom of the chair. Since it's here, I can easily move my 3D cursor to the place that I want to uh, that I want to use to align this uh, chair. For instance, let's try to select this plane. I will hit Tab, select this vertex here. If I press Shift S, it will bring the snapping options, and you can also go to the mesh snap to see the exact same options. What I need here is to move my 3D cursor and align it to this vertex. So I will press Shift S and you can choose cursor to select it. Now I can go back and press the tab key to go back to object mode. And as you can see, my 3D cursor is perfectly aligned with uh, the plane. Now I can select the chair if I press Shift S again, now I can use this option selection to cursor and it will move the object and align it with the 3D cursor. Now, this only works because the origin point of the chair is at the exact bottom, center bottom of the chair. If you have this origin point in, on a different location, it will align uh, in a different way. Let me show you an example. For instance, let's move the origin point to the center location of this chair or to this, uh, the leg of the chair. I will select this vertex, press shift S move the cursor, cursor to selected, and place it here. Now, if I go to the object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor, the origin point is now on this location. Notice that I just used the 3D cursor again. And if I press tab, I can move the 3D cursor back to that place, cursor to selected. And if I select the chair now, pr press Shift S, it will go to selection to cursor. And look that you can notice that this chair is now using this leg here as a reference to the alignment. 
this is a key factor to use uh, this snapping option it will always use the origin point and you can uh, again uh, use the 3d cursor as a reference to move your origin point anywhere you need Now we can try the transformation snap. Uh, to use the transformation snap, I will enable this magnet icon. You can also use control tab, or sorry, shift tab. If you press shift tab, you will be able to uh, turn it on and off. And here we can choose the options. Let's uh, use vertex and edge. You can press and hold the shift key to enable multiple uh, snapping targets. And you can also choose what, uh, which one of your transformations you want to affect using this snap. By default, it will start with move, but you can also enable rotate and scale. If I press the G key now to move my object, you will see that Blender will try to snap or locate key points from vertices and from my edges. Now, if you really want to use Blender as a CAD tool, you need to use something called Snap Base. What is the Snap Base? Snap Base, it's uh, a way to select a base point for your transformations. In this case, the the move transformation. If you are if you try to make a move transformation in, on a CAD software, you will have to select an origin point and a destination point. Here in Blender, the snap base uh, works as if it was the origin point. For instance, if I press the G key and I press the B key, it will ask me to select a snap base. Now, I'm really far away from the chair, so I need a way to get closer to the chair. This is another resource that you need to use with the snap if you want to uh, really master it as a, as a can tool, which is the Alt key. For instance, now I'm really far from the object, but if I press the Alt key, press and hold the Alt key, you can change your zoom while keeping the transformation. So I can get closer to the chair. I can select, for instance, this point here to use as a snap base and move it around. Now, I don't want to move it on this plane. I want to move to the plane on the other side of this wall so I can press and hold the Alt key. I'm using the wheel of my, of my mouse. I can orbit my scene. And now I can release my Alt key and try to find a point here that I want to use. I have a vertex here, so I will place it on this location. And this is it. This is just a quick way to use the snapping system of Blender. We have two ways. The first one with uh, the 3D cursor and the second one with uh, the transformation snap, the, the transformation snapping. And uh, one of the ways uh, that we have to increase or make it uh, work even better Is to press and hold the Alt key. It will give you the freedom to uh, move your zoom, to orbit the scene, to uh, get closer to your subject and select the exact point that you need to use as a snap base. And for the snap base, you just have to press the B key. This was a quick tutorial about how to use the snapping of Blender and try to make it get, uh, try to make it work as a CAD tool. I hope you liked the content. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you find it useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't uh, miss any future uh, tutorials on the subject. I see you next time. Bye.